we're going to put some text on a page and this is a good image to use because if I put text straight across the page it'd look a bit silly it's going to have to have some perspective and be bigger at this end smaller at this end disappearing to a, a vanishing point if you like so I'll select my text tool and click on the page and type okay now if I highlight this text, I can change the size of it. If I change that to 180, press enter. Still probably a little bit big. I can experiment. Now, I'm happy with that. As far as the colour goes, if I click on the colour selection tool, I'm not limited to any colours in here. I can click anywhere I like. So I could choose that blue, these brick colours, the Wilson's parking colour. I can choose anything I like. Or I can just go in and select something. Now, I'll accept that. In order to skew this, I'm going to go to my Edit Transform menu, and the perspective is greyed out. Now the reason it's greyed out is because this is text. I can't transform text to be distorted so the P is bigger than the E at this end. I need to transform this to an image. So that text layer has to become an image. That's called rasterizing. So I'm going to select here, or before I do that, I'll just point out the easiest way to select the text to do something to it is not to double click here, but to double click on the T. And that just highlights all of your text for you. So I'm going to select here and under the layer menu I'm going to rasterize that type. Rasterize is a word that means take it from text and make it into an image. So now that I've rasterized that type I can use my transform and there's a perspective tool. So I'm going to make this a bit bigger at this end and I'm going to use that white line here in my picture of windows as a, uh, as a marker, if you like, for my text to run against. I won't make it that big. I'll make it, I'll make it go from there to maybe that top line of windows there, that'll do. And now I'll pull this down at this end and have it running along there. So the P is on that line, the E is on that line, and I'll take that up a little bit at that end. Move that up a little bit, okay. And I'm pretty happy with that. That's not too bad. I'll commit those changes. And there I've got some text running across the page. It's on its own layer. I can hide it or show it.